All right, I don't even know what I'm going to ask, but Kenneth Copeland. I saw a video of him. Somebody emailed it to me or emailed me to take a look at the video. And it was him flipping out on this girl. She was a reporter or woman, I should say. But she was not in the, light, in the least bit intimidated by him, which I loved because he tried. And he did say this, mind you. It was not he lied and said he didn't say it, but he did say this. Him and Jesse Duplantis were having a conversation and said that we have to fly, fly private because we need to be able to talk to the Lord. They can't do that on a public plane, what do you call it? I'll just call it public plane. They can't do that there because there are too many demons on board and it would distract them from what they're trying to do, said the preacher who goes to church. No, excuse me, who goes to a mega church full of demons. So, they said they have to fly private because of all the demons. It's like a tube of demons, he said. And so the lady asked him, you said you can't fly. You have to fly private because of all the demons on board. He said, I did not say that. And don't you say I did. Yes, you did say that. You and Jesse, both of you. And she asked him, why do you need a private plane is what she was saying. So I'm going to know just some general info about Jesse Duplantis and not Jesse Duplantis. Kenneth Copeland, let's do both of them because they both said it. But Kenneth Copeland's making the rounds because he got all demon. And you should see that video because you should see his eyes. Like he went true demon on her. I'm going to look at private plane because he has a private plane he bought from Tyler Perry. He said Tyler Perry made that plane so cheap that and Tyler Perry's a good guy. Don't change the subject. But he said Tyler Perry is such a good guy. He made that plane so cheap there was no way he couldn't buy it. Yeah, there is a way you couldn't buy it. But anyway. So, I keep saying Jesse Duplantis. Kenneth Copeland. We'll do Jesse too. Kenneth Copeland. Business practices. Your church. Are you legitimate? Are you a thief? Are you a what? Page of Rods. There's the news. Six of Pentacles. Now, we'll get some clarification on this, but this is usually a card of one or two things. You are either a very good giver. Woman and her child come to you. You give. Or you are a beggar, a person who just takes. Now, I think there are two pentacles in his hand. We'll hope that it is. That looks like two. Otherwise, there are only four showing and then he's hiding one somewhere. But I'm going to say there's two in his hand. So, six of pentacles. And then what follows the money is the page of swords. That's the inside man. This is the disappointing news. Sometimes a person of immature or inappropriate behavior, which is definitely you. There's the hangman. The sacrifice. There is the money and the work. The energy surrounding the work is the disappointing news or the inside man. So this is you. This is the setup we got going here. Around the hangman is the nine of cups. Desire. So sacrifice to get what you want. Sacrifice what? Wonder if we get the Empress. Oh, Five of Pentacles. Oh, I won't assume. So I'll leave that alone. I just want to know. 
Is he legit or not? Chariot. Seven of Cups. Confusion. Oh. 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 Mm. Mm. Okay, well, we'll come. <laughs> I'm trying to not, because see, I'm going in this with preconceived notions. It's kind of how I did like that um, um, Jesse Smollett video. I have a notion in my mind already, and I don't want to read the cards to reflect what's in my head. But, because like this, I pulled this to clarify what sacrifice is. And something popped into my head that I didn't want to say because I thought I was being biased. And this is keep the poor people out because they don't give. Because this is the religious institution or this is just an institution of some sort. This is a stained glass window church. These are the poor and the begging. And they are the ones who are being sacrificed because they sort of drag down the church. That is what I was going to say, but I didn't want to say that because it sounds biased. So, Queen of Swords, I don't know who that is. And then the Nine of Rods, that's the uphill battle. So, he is going through this right now and everybody's going to turn and look at him and say, Hey, this doesn't seem right. These cards are both my greed cards. But I didn't want to say that either, because like I said, I have the sort of preconceived notion of what's going on with him. The Nine of Cups is about greed for me. And the Seven is too. This one illustrates it even more. These are, they look ethereal, like they look, they look like they're not actually there. This is more of a fantasy. But this person wants it all. Give me all the cups and all the liquid that's in this container. So, what I'm going to do we'll do Jesse Duplantis. Is he legit or not? And then I'm going to get a different deck and do Jesse Duplantis Jr., whatever his name is, Kenneth Copeland. I don't know why you call him Jesse. Kenneth Copeland again. So let's do Jesse. Because they both said it. They need a private plane so they're not in a bunch in a tube with a bunch of demons. Because that's what Jesus would do. He would buy a private plane because he don't want to fly with all the demons. Sickening. The Fool. This is where we start. King of Cups. This is usually the man of compassion. Ace of Pentacles. Money idea. Chariot pops up for you too. And the greed card pops up for you too. Around the money. The magician around the chariot. So this magic act of victory and triumph, because they are part of the prosperity gospel. Prosperity gospel is it is technically in the Bible. It is part of a teaching from God. But it has been perverted, in my opinion, by the church. Here's how it's supposed to go. In the Bible, it says, As long as the earth shall remain, no, as long as the earth remains, sea time harvest shall not cease. What that means is, as long as the earth remains, if you plant, it will grow. You will harvest. That will continue as long as the earth remains. Whatever you put out will come back. This is the karmic theory. Whatever you put out will come back. 
tenfold. You put in one little seed, it grows a bush of whatever. It grows a tree of whatever. It grows whatever of whatever. A patch. Seed time harvest shall not cease. So the prosperity gospel is, you have a thousand dollars. You need to pay your mortgage and your car payment. You don't have enough to do both. Take that money. This is the perverted version of seed time harvest. Put all of it in the collection plate because it's not enough to do what you need to do anyway. Put it in God's hands and God's will multiply you. If you don't, God cannot help you. So it's like holding people's hope for ransom. Give me this money and God will help you. If you do not, he will not. And then they give you anecdotes and stories about how they were somewhere and they didn't have the money to do this. They didn't have the resources to do that. They sowed that seed and then it came back to them 99 fold. They'll all give you a story about that. They'll all tell you a story or they'll introduce you to a person who this has happened to. And then you think, wow, so what I need to do with this thousand dollars instead of making payment arrangements. What I need to do is take all of it, put it in the collection plate. Now I have zero and then wait for my harvest. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm saying that if you don't have it, what the church should do is help you pay your car note and your mortgage. Because the money that goes into the church is supposed to help the community. That's what the tithe is for. It is not for the pastor and the church bills. The offering is for the pastor and the church bills. The tithe goes back into the community. But they don't do it that way anymore. So this is now considered robbing God if you don't take your thousand dollars that you rarely, that you scarcely have and give it to them. That's what they want you to do. So this magic act of triumph and victory is what they push. Jesse Duplantis, Kenneth Copeland, Creflo Dollar, all of these people push the prosperity gospel because it sells. Seven ways to this and this, you know, they give you all this hope wrapped up in pages instead of just telling you what to do. You're supposed to be the shepherd of people, not the best seller at Barnes and Noble. There's your two cups. Your agreements, Ace of Cups, the new relationships, Six of Cups, a longing for the past, and then a new action with the Ace of Rods. What I get from him is that he used to be, and he still is a good person, I'm sure, but he used to be a better person. Until that came along. And then the prosperity gospel set in. And then I need more money than I actually need set in. And then the agreements, the new relationships, the partnerships, the TBN network and all this. And then the longing for the past, longing for a simpler time because every soul gets weary. I don't care who you are. Then a new action, put out a new book, put out a new tape series, put out a new something. Because you got to start all over. So that the money comes back in. So. That's what it's about. About money and things. So, am I just being judgmental or are they not legit? Kenneth Copeland. If we get seven of cups, nine of cups, then there you go.
Six of Pentacles. That money card again with the sharing and the giving. Page of Swords. Inside Man. Disappointing news. Just like he's getting the same cards. Eight of Swords. This is Restriction. Five of Cups. There's a Regret. Ace of Swords. So the restriction is around the clarity, around the victory. So he's losing something. Two of Wands. There's a plan after the regret. So I think it's this incident. I do want to look at why he went off on her like that. Well, this was upside down. Don't do reverse cards, but okay. Nine of Wands reversed. This is usually the uphill battle card, but this is something you're going to have to submit to. So this is not a fight. Page of Wands, new action. Ten of Pentacles, that's the church, and then the Judgment card. So no greed card, but your fate is sealed and it's not escapable. And I think the reason we started off with the bad news around the money is because the last reading that we just did was correct. Now, why did you flip out? Because you did say it. You told her, I did not say that, and don't you say I did. Yes, you did say it. It's on video. Because you two were going on about how it is you have to fly private. So, yes, you did say it. So, what's going on with you? Because he said um, to her, because he started laughing after one of the questions and said, uh, you caught me off guard here. Did she really? Hand in the cookie jar. Ace of Cups. So emotion. This is a new emotion. An overflowing emotion, naturally, because you did, like I said, flip out. And that is no exaggeration. If you see the video, you will see what I mean. He just, he went ballistic. Well, like ballistic may be a bit of an exaggeration, but watch it anyway. The Magician. Hmm. I think he was more frustrated than new emotion because his gift of gab, because that's one of his skills, failed him. And he said, you caught me off guard, which he, which she did, because she was asking you about your, I would call it criminal behavior, but because you're the one robbing God. But anyway, she caught you off guard. Your skills failed. The magician is a card of skills. Four of Wands. It's the establishment. Two of Cups. That's the agreements. The bonds. Ten of Pentacles. So why did you go off? It made you look bad. That's basically what it is. Because here, here's your establishments. Here's the people close to you. Here is your legacy. Here is your church, basically. Surround it. Because this is, this is the establishment card, like my stores or companies. And then this is the money card. About the legacy and the structure. Then what's around the agreements is the victories and the triumphs and the clarities. This made people question who you are and what you're about. So it made you look bad. Eight of Pentacles. Money. And that's what got called into question. So not only did it make you look bad, it made it make you look like a thief. Four of Pentacles. Resistant to change which was in the environment because you didn't 
come down off the high horse, you try to defend your plane. The Emperor. Your authority was challenged. Three of Cups. So you're trying to get back to a place of togetherness and celebration, but that is why. And mind you, this is also a card of alcohol, but I won't go there. So you were caught off guard. She made you look bad. And so you flipped out because of it. Well, word of warning. Beware of the wolf. He shops in the same place that the sheep shop. 